Good morning. Sorry I'm late. Oh, looking sexy today. Um, all right, we're here. This is my labor outfit. And it's not even Labor Day. See? Baggy pants. And let's see what Greg's wearing. Probably almost the same thing. Say hi to Greg. Greg, say hi to everyone. Hey, everybody. So what's going on, Greg? Tell them what, what we're up to. All right, so we, uh, as many of you know, we started our own warehouse. It's called GNS South. Uh, it's a little bit of a take on SNS South, but just Greg and Scott. And uh, this week, we're moving all the fabric from SNS South next door to GNS South. It's literally like 100 feet uh, in that direction. But uh, we're loading these buggies. We put them on a truck. The truck gets moved over to the new warehouse. We take the fabric off, the empty buggies come back, and it just goes like that all day long. So uh, we've been doing this since Monday, and it'll be done until all the fabric is moved. So far, we've just done Henry Glass, and uh, it's Wednesday, so I'm hoping Studio E, a little bit smaller line and blank a little bit smaller, they can get them done by, uh, by Saturday, and we'll be shipping again uh, Monday, Tuesday next week, so keep your fingers crossed. What time have you been getting in in the morning? Uh, we start at 7. Uh, we have a 10 minute break at 10, a half hour break for lunch at noon, and then a 10 minute break at 2, we go to 3.30, and then uh, a bunch of people have been really uh, helpful working overtime, so we can uh, have a shot to get this done by uh, early next week. All right, awesome. All right, then I, then I go home, shower, eat, and pass out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Joanne Hubbard, are you getting ready? We're going to do some fabric for you. All right, Cheryl, I don't know how you always get on first, but all right, here, I'm gonna help Greg push this. Greg, just hang on, I wanna show them. So these were all full with Henry Glass. You could see we've definitely made some progress, or I haven't made that much. Greg is doing a lot more, but look, these are all pretty empty. It just never ends, so here we go. So now Greg takes this out, and I do the video of him. You know how that goes. Good morning, Krista. Hi, Jennifer. Jones, Roy Croft. Greg, say hi to Jennifer and Kirsta. Hi, Jennifer and Kirsta. How are you? All right. So One of the first things I learned was to keep your hands on the inside of the buggy. Otherwise, yes. your fingers get crushed. This is a super dangerous job. I already have one jacked finger, and I definitely don't want another one. These curves are hard. You get your finger caught in between the pole and the other pole, and you might as well just say bye-bye. All right, so here we're going into the area where we do most of the shipping from. I'm gonna follow Greg for one more second and then we'll get out of here and see some other stuff. So here we go. Here are, um, smells like something. Uh, here we have some orders that are drop ships. They're waiting to be uh, picked up by, by the customers. And these are pallets of fabric getting ready to be shipped out. And here's the, so they take this, this um, forklift and they put it in into the bug, into that buggy on the top, and they lift it and move it onto the truck. You want to show the truck? Uh, no, nah, I'm not going to. So this is where they do a lot of the work and the packing, and then the shipping door is in the back. That's where they ship out of. We will not be using this building anymore, but still wanted to show you. It's a big mess. Um, these are some old fleece that we have. Let's see, what are people saying? Hi, Seth Heckler. Hi, Nomi Campbell. The one and only Naomi Campbell. Did you know that she's a fan, Greg? No, I didn't know. <laughs> she's Naomi Campbell of Australia. Okay. All right, so I'm not gonna go anymore. So one thing I wanna show you guys is, if you don't know, uh, this is called ROT, rolled on a tube, as opposed to the pieces that are double and rolled. So these, the rolls come in like this, they're flat, they're straight, uh, 45 inches long, and then we cut them up into pieces. So here we go, let's see. Now I'm gonna take you into the other room. Trying to be really steady. Let's see, hi from Seattle, good morning. Cheryl, you have those carts in, on your back room, huh? All right, so this is Studio E. Let's see, we're gonna ooh and ah over here. So let's get over here. Peppered cottons, yum. All those colors, nice. All right, so here we go, let's go. I'm gonna get everyone excited. Here we go, my modern batiks for Studio E. These are nice, they're on the poplin. Gonna do a little run through. They're all here. Howdy, Diane Arthur in Texas. So this is all Studio E. These are the modern batiks. You've seen me post about this. These are on poplin. Really neat and fun. Great for kids, kids, uh, you know, kids uh, quilts and things like that. Apparel, it has a really nice hand. Jill Watson, oh my God, to you. 
This is really eye candy. Hi, Joanne Hubbard. All right, here we go. Let's see, a flutter. Look at this, so here's the panel. I'm doing the best I can here. This is, off we go. These are so, okay, so here we go. I'm gonna teach y'all something. So, we offer customers the opportunity to buy a full collection in 12 yard cuts, that's the incentive, as opposed to 15 yard pieces. So we keep them laid up here. So these are full collections set up in 12s, and then the rest of the 15 yard pieces are elsewhere. So we only cut a specific number of full collections in 12 yard put ups, and those wait for the full collection orders. All right, where will K Facet Collective go? Well, okay, so I'm gonna bring you over to some fabric and I'll get you over to the other room. This might be a little while, um, so you're just gonna have to deal. Let's see, more fabric, more fabric. This is a cool one from a flutter, really popular. That line is doing amazing. Hi, Lori Q. Hi, Patricia. Let's see. All right, I'm sorry if I'm getting herky-jerky. There's just so much. So this is a beautiful piece from a flutter. I mean, you gotta ooh and ah for this, yum. And you know what we'll do, maybe? I will, at some point during this talk, I will do, if I could use my brain and think of something, I will come up with a question and maybe send someone a bolt of fabric. This is a really cool one. This is from Studio E. Oh. This is a, um, a label print that we have. This is a basic. This one is from the Small Talk line. A lot of fun. All right, so. Let's keep going. So, hi to Greg again. Hey, everybody. All right, so this is where they do the packing. That was the bell. We gotta get oh, to work. so the bell just rang again. The break is up. So, this is where they pack and they roll the boxes down this path and then it gets strapped at the end of the path. Good morning, Bonnie. Oh, yeah, I like the purple flutter. Yeah, it's awesome. All right, let's go. So, here, think our aim no accidents. Use your brain. Greg, I'm gonna be a while. You need to do work without me. This is the snacks that they get. But here, look, uh, 108 wide, lazy loops from Studio E. I mean, it just goes and goes and goes, and then it goes some more. Peppered cotton, this is color 32, which is called paprika. Not a big paprika fan in my food, but in my fabric, it's all good. Here we go, more fabric, more fabric. Say good morning. Good morning. Yes. Here we have some yarn dyed flannels. Let's see who these are. All right, so let, let's teach you all something. So here we go. Oh, this is gonna be backwards for you, but this says helping hands. It says by Kim Deal, it says the width of the fabric. It says where it's made. There's a pattern and color. There's a put up, there's a UPC. There's a yards and meter conversion. And that's all right there. Say good morning. Good morning. Happy guy. All right, here we go. No one's happy, it's hot in here. They're all working hard. But here, these are the stuff linens. These are the Avalana jersey. Oh, sorry, not the linens, the jersey. So this is, uh, you know, we carry the stuff line. It's really a beautiful line from Denmark. They're nice partners of ours. We sell their fabric in the US. They sell our fabric overseas. Hello again from Sweden, nice. Check this out, what is this? Four or five. Oh, this is a digital print from Staff, and then down here is more Staff and flannel. There's so much stuff everywhere. It's crazy. All right, so this is now where blank is. Good morning, Joseph. Good morning, my friend. How are you? So this is where blank is. Let's see. These are the paid projects. So um, if you didn't know, uh, a lot of our customers didn't want to use our free projects. They wanted to actually have something where they can make some money. So we do offer this to them. They buy six in a pack, they pay an amount, and then we can buy it. So here we go, let's do some blank fabric. So we got Forever Friends, the cat line. Oh, you like that digital, Jane Hall? This is cats, I mean, this place is crazy. I do want you to see the double and rolling because I know everyone's gonna love that. I'm sure you've seen it. This is a great baseball line. Here we go. Hi, Jill Watson, Martha Maloney. Remember those contests where the winner got five minutes in the grocery store to pull? <laughs> yeah, that would be awesome, but I can't tell you where I am. Here's our dinosaur line. You love cats, nice. Ursula Palmer, is staff and still the staff you mentioned? 
I'm not sure what you're saying, but Stoff, this is Stoff, S-T-O-F of Denmark. I think there's a, another Stoff, they might be with two F. Stoff, I learned, means fabric. Yeah, you could get locked in here overnight. But, all right, so here we have more rolls. These don't look like our fabric, I don't think, but these are, once again, R-O-T, rolled on a tube, as opposed to the double and rolled fabric. Let me go down a different row. If you guys have questions, feel free to ask them. Um, just write them here, I'll try to answer them. This is a line called Retro Charm from Blank Quilting. Um, let's see. <laughs> so this is a cool line. This is Crystalline. This is by Mark Kordazinski. This line has this really neat, let's see if you could see it, kind of metallic-y feel, like a, a crystal. And we have that in a lot of colors. Here's Sea Buddies, cute line from Blank Quilting. How do we know how much to order? Okay, great question, Kathy McKillop. Um, Kathy, so this is what we do. So you know the way we go out with new lines, like in May. So we have a new line in May. We won't ship that line until about six months later. So we take pre-orders, and then when we have to finally place the real order, which is closer to the time of delivery, maybe three or four months in advance, we look at the sales, and we take a number and use a ratio so in other words, if there's five SKUs, the first one sold 1,000, the second one sold 1,000, the third one sold 500, the fourth one sold 500, the fifth one sold 500, we'd say, okay, we'll take 50% more. So on the 500 yarders, we'll take uh, 250 yards more, and then on the 1,000, we'll buy 500 more. So then between the time that we order the goods and the time that they get here, we'll hopefully sell more. And then when the goods get into our warehouse, most of it goes out right away. So it's kind of really nice. So we have it, essentially it's all pre-sold. So that's really uh, makes it nice and we keep it moving. So this is the method that we're gonna implement for, for Free Spirit and it will help us manage the inventory way better than they have in the past. This way we get an idea um, of the sales and the sales help us determine how much we should buy because you know the sales don't lie. You gotta trust your numbers. How often do we release new lines? Good question, Naomi Campbell. Um, we re uh, it depends on the company. Studio E and Blank released new lines um, in January, April for Quilt Market, July for the summer, and then October for Quilt Market again. Free Spirit, at, um, and Hen Free Spirit is on the same schedule, but they'll be changing, and in addition to those four releases, they will have a March release. Henry Glass also has five releases, the same as Studio E in Blank, plus a March release. Because Henry Glass and Free Spirit use the multi-line reps, they like to go out as often as possible. The Blank and Studio E reps don't go out as much. They go, they do their territory in one full shot, so they don't keep going back and forth. Good morning, how are you today? So this young lady is um, putting the bolts on the conveyor belt and then the conveyor belt goes, and then the plastic goes on top. You see it, it goes on the bolt, and it's in its raw form, so it's not sticking to the fabric yet. Then it goes through this heat machine, and it will come out the other, it, it, gets, it gets heated up and melted. You can see the end is cut and melted, and it's cut and melted on the other side. And then this part of the machine right here that you're looking at sucks out all the air, and then it comes out, voila. Just like that, look how nice it is. It's nice and warm, toasty. It's just like a nice little breakfast. So there you go. Um, this is just where we ship the goods out of. We do not sell anyone. We only sell to other people that sell our fabric. We do not sell directly to consumers. I mean, look at this, guys, check it out. I mean, what would you do with this? I mean, imagine you had this whole palette and it had all different designs of Tula. Oh, Susie L8, I can't answer that question right now. Who carries my lines in Indianapolis? That's too hard of a question. Good morning, Trina Matheson. Does fabric get rolled on a bolt at this location? Yes, that is next. Great question, which is a perfect segue for me to keep going. Let me not get injured. So these are all double, old double and rolling machines. These machines are not made a lot anymore. So it's, they keep them around so they could use um, all the old parts. So this is good. It looks like the Beverly Hills Hotel, not quite. So let's see what we got in here. This is an A.E. Nathan flannel design with cats, really cute. All right. Okay, let's see. 
All right, here we go. This is what you guys want to see. I'm sure you've seen the videos. Other companies have done this. All right, so these people get paid by the speed. So she's working pretty quickly and I'm not gonna bother her. Although she's probably gonna find me annoying. Um, all right, so here, this is so tricky. When you have to so, so they put the roll on the bottom of the machine, the ROT fabric, rolled on tube. Um, that's on the bottom. And then, here we go. So watch her, what she does. She's got these two things. She starts the fabric a little bit on the, on the, on the spool, and then she throws the board in there, she rolls it away, and you can't see what she's looking on the side. There's a meter. I'm gonna go around on the other side so you can see the meter. A lot of stuff here. This place is crazy. This place is like a danger zone. All right, here, so let me get in here. I'm gonna sneak in here. You see the meter? Oh, it's hard to see the meter. I'm sorry, let me go to a different machine and see if I can get a meter for you. So we got a lot of cutters here today. Uh, let's see. So, okay, here's the meter. Let's get right in here. Good morning. So here's the meter, and this meter goes, and then when he gets to whatever size piece he needs to roll, he, he cuts it with the splicer. So he takes this thing, and he runs it right across. So that's what he does. They got nice fans here, because it gets super hot. And here's the boards. These boards are waiting to be used. And there's all kinds of fabric sludge around here. Little pieces of threads and stuff like that. Here, so let's see some more people. So as I said, these people are getting paid based on their speed. So um, hopefully we don't sacrifice quality for speed. Um, but this is important. Good morning. How are you today? All right. All right. Say hi to everyone, please. Hello. What's your name? Leticia. How long have you worked here? Here? Yeah. 13 years. Do you know how many yards you double and roll in a day? About? Oh, she's looking at her feet. 3,700. 3,700 already today? Yeah, but I got here like almost 8 o'clock. At 8 o'clock. So 3,700 yards she rolls. So how much do you usually do in a good day? Good day? On a good day. Can you do 10,000? It depends. It depends? It depends on about eight yard cut. Right, cut. So, so what she's saying is it really depends on the cut size. Because if she has to do eight yard cut, she has to keep changing the boards and keep cutting, it's, it's much more labor. When she does a 15 yard piece, she probably gets double the capacity done, which is, which is uh, you know, so obviously the cutters prefer the 15 yard cut because they can make a lot more money. All right. Yeah. Yeah, see, so she's saying right here, she's saying 15 yard cut, she can do over 10,000. She's, she's, she's rocking it. I mean, really impressive. Um, all right. Yeah, she's very quick. And she's going. Thank you for your time. All right. Okay, so another guy. You know, I just got to be real careful. They keep doing it. This woman's got a face mask on so she doesn't get the dust. There's more machines everywhere, leftover plastic that they'll recycle, which is great. These are the buggies that we're filling up and we're moving the, the uh, fabric around. Here's more ROT fabric. All right, here we go. So this is another room to the building. I'm just gonna show you the room we were just in. I'm gonna go slow and not shake too much. So it's just monstrous. Fabric everywhere, rolls. You guys would just love it. Freaking amazing. So up here, say good morning to Vernon. Hi, uh, Vernon. How are you? Uh, let's see. So they end up with a lot of stuff, a lot of garbage, a lot of things that, um, a lot of things that need to be recycled. That's very important. So here we go. This woman's hiding. Here we go. More ROT. You know, it's funny, they have all these little nooks in here. Here, I'm gonna really get down and dirty. They have like a little house in here where a bunch of them hang out and they eat. Look at that nice fabric. Oh my God, is that Tula Pink? Is that Tula Pink? I'd recognize it. Tula Pink, oh my God. They're using this in their little home. All right, here we go. So this, this woman, what's wrong? You're famous. You okay? All right, 
So she's doing the boards. These are the boards that we use. Are you wanted or something? All right, say good morning. Good morning. Good morning. See all these people working so hard. All right, here we go. Look, look at this. It just goes and goes and goes and goes. Goes and goes and goes. Yes, let's see, where are we gonna go find? I wanna find some free spirit fabric. I saw it before. Let's go. I know you guys can't live without your free spirit fabric. All right, this is fabric. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How am I doing? Are you guys enjoying this? All right, here we go. All right, so this is another one of those sealing machines that I showed you before. Same thing. This one's a little different. They put the piece in and then they drop this piece down right here and they kind of seal it. It's more of a manual sealer. They're not afraid of me. I, they, don't, they don't really work for me. They probably don't even know who I am. They're wondering what the heck is this guy doing in here. All right, so let's see. This is more of a shipping area. Good morning. Say good morning to my fans. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. All right, see they're shipping and packing and they're, they're doing their thing. Where's the uh, free spirit again? The, the free spirit, the new fabric from the new company? I have no idea. You have no idea. Okay, I know it's somewhere. Oh God, this place is madness. Oh, I know where it is, let's see. Sorry. So here's some other companies. You recognize this, I think it's Cranston. Let's see, now I forget where that fabric was. Oh my God, this is crazy. So let's see what this says. Classic cottons, competitors. Classic cottons, more competitors. Uh, shoot, where did Greg say the free spirit was? Now I'm like lost in here. All right, so everyone's working. I don't want to get run over by that guy. Let's see. Vernon, where was the free spirit again? The little bit that came in the ROT? The what? The ROT for free spirit? Where was that? Like Greg showed it to me somewhere. I have no idea. Oh, sugar. In here? In here? Maybe it's over here. Oh, no. Gonna disappoint you guys. Because I had a brain fart. Oh, man. Let's see. Maybe it's over here. There's the ladies' room. Hanging out in the ladies' room. Causing trouble. Let's see. All right. Sugar, you are much better than me. Let's see. This is more rolled on tube. More rolled on a tube. Ah, oh, I found it. I got it. All right, people, here's your chance. <laughs> what do you see here? What do we got? Tim Holtz. Yes, this is a third party warehouse, but we are gonna move to the other warehouse, which is uh, I'm gonna show you soon, which we're gonna rent, but it's gonna be ours. We are no longer gonna be working with SNS. I think they're eventually gonna close the shop. So here we got boxes of fabric here, more. I know you guys are gonna like this. More Tim Holtz and all of you uh, who are wondering, Tim Holtz is coming with us. So we're super excited about that. Here's more free spirit, it's everywhere. Look at these rolls. Oh my God, what would you do with this? That's the Halloween one. Here we go, more. So this all has to be cut into pieces so we could ship to your store and then you could go, you could go to your favorite store and go buy it from them. Uh, this is more, I think this actually, I think this is Free Spirit too. Let's see, yeah, it says Westminster. So a lot of Free Spirit, here we go. This looks like Free Spirit. Just like, so I don't know. I'm kind of disappointed, but I, you guys got all free spirit yesterday. So I don't want to overdo it. I got to give some love to my other companies. But all right, so take a walk with me. We're going to go to the other building. Huh? Yeah, all these boxes are all free spirit. So we're going to have to open them up and see what's in them. All right, let's go to the other building. Oh, yeah. All right, talk to me. I got a little walk before I get there. So what do you want to know? What can I tell you? 
I warned Rana, one of the girls doing labels. Here comes Scott, run. <laughs> okay. How old were you when you started working in the industry? Did you work part-time in high school? Um, so, when I was a kid, I probably told you these stories before. Here, we'll walk through here. When I was a kid, we had our own plant and we did printing and uh, bleaching. So we got the gray goods in, they were um, natural color. We bleached them in the bleaching machine, which is super hot. And then we printed them and we had all these different colors and on rolling printers. But so my dad wanted my brother and I to, um, to learn the business and see what it's like to be a laborer because he didn't want us to just be sitting in the office bossing people around. He wanted to, us to understand from the bottom up and I could totally respect that now. I totally get it. We have minions here. More minions. All right, so, um, so anyway, so we had this plant and during the summer, my brother, uh, he did his little mission there and I did my mission and uh, we both worked at the plant. So we spent the summer there you know, we did labor. We definitely did labor. It was super hot, um, but it was interesting. All right, so now I'm walking over to the other building. So back to what Greg was telling you before, we're moving all the fabric from one building to the other. So I just showed you the first building, which is, has about three different sections. Uh, the first section, you'll recall, was the area where we did the shipping from, which Greg was there. The second one was where, was where the peppered cottons were and where the Henry Glass goods were before we moved them. And the third room was the last one that I just walked through with uh, where they were doing all the shipping and all the other goods were there. Uh, have my sons been to the warehouse? No, my sons have not been here yet. They're a little young. It's, you know, it's not 100% uh, safe. No, uh, Joseph, I'm in Seneca, South Carolina right now. Okay. Yes, free, uh, free, sp free Spirit online ordering system is down for a little bit. We are working on the new website. Um, you know, this is really the crux of the deal. We're, we're working on it right now. And um, you know, this is crunch time. We're really working hard to get everything in order. So I'm sorry about that. I would suggest Sylvia that you call customer service and they'll gladly help you out. So this is the next building over. This is where GNS is gonna be. So I guess these are some old goods that are gonna move out. This is where they, they do the staging for a lot of the Joanne goods. It's really much cleaner in here. You can see the floor is decently clean. This is a machine, so th this machine, they'll put the pallet on it, and then they'll put the, um, this is not saran wrap, but plastic, and then they'll put plastic around it so the bolts stay um, on the whole time. So it's, it spins around. It's like when you go to the airport and you see them doing that with the suitcases. So here's some fans for when it's hot or to keep the machine. So here's what I was showing you before. This guy's moving the buggies with, with the um, forklift. So here we go, more fabric. So now we're gonna go to the next. Oh, see the good, they're cleaning up, which is great. Gotta keep it clean. It's important to be clean. Otherwise this place just becomes dirty real fast. I hope you guys are still with me. I don't see the comments moving. Um, all right, here we go. So, let's see. There we go. What do you do with the leftover unsold goods? Uh, <laughs> so there's essentially a process that we go through of uh, once a line slows down. So as I told you before, when we order the goods, the fabric, all comes in and we ship out maybe 70% of it. Then we leave the rest for reorders on the shelves or if it's a line that's warranted to keep for a very long time, uh, we will order a lot more goods and then keep it on the shelves. Then uh, on a line that say comes in this month and then we ship out 70 or 80%, if over the next couple months the orders slow down dramatically, we will make a determination that we will move the goods to close out. We are very aggressive about closeouts. We don't fall in love with fabric. We can always get more fabric. So um, the other companies, I'm not sure how they deal with it, but we often mark the goods down very quickly because we know that we're gonna have to sell them lower. So then if we sell them above the price, we mark them down. So we made a little, but we do mark them down because once they slow down, we know we're gonna have to go uh, start to moving them to close out. So check this out. So this is one of the buildings and look at all the racks are set up. So these are all gonna be filled. I did a before picture of this. 
And when it's filled, I'll do an after, although I'm not gonna be here when it's filled. So, yeah, it's, it's actually, this room is way more organized than the other room. Um, so anyway, so back to what do we do with the leftovers? So sometimes we donate them. We do go through a process of, let's say there may be a customer, we take a price point, and I'm just making this up, like $4 a yard, uh, we have customers that may buy some, then we'll go lower to three, and then two, and then basically under two, we can pretty much get rid of everything. Uh, once in a while, there's a skew that we just have a mega amount, and we get stuck with, but it eventually all disappears. You know, it just goes, it, it just takes time. You could sell it overseas, stuff like that. Um, are Joann's a different grade than quilting grade? It's a, it really depends. Um, the chains in the past have done more printing in Pakistan and places like that as opposed to Korea where we do it, but uh, the chains are getting into more first, you know, better quality of Korean goods. I think Joann's, for example, has a different brand for their Korean goods. So, um, Yes and no is the answer to that question. So in some cases it's the same, in some cases it could be a little slightly inferior, but not really by that much. We don't get to, yeah, you're not, we don't sell the, the um, discounted fabrics overseas. That would be for our international distributors to purchase from us, and then um, they would sell it to you potentially at a discount or maybe at full price. Yeah, we all need bargains, but you're not getting a lot of bargains, so don't get so excited. Um, nothing wrong in sending the fabrics overseas. Will you have a warehouse sale once a year? You know what, now that we have our own warehouse, that potentially is in the cards, but I just don't know if that's something we want to deal with, but it's really kind of mayhem. But all right, so here we go. So now we're back. Um, you know, Greg was moving the goods with me before. These are the goods that so far have been put up. So this is a really sweet, Henry Glass, Chills and Thrills. This is a glow in the dark line. Really cool, here's the color card. That we keep the color card around so they can make sure the pattern and color information is all correct. So here's the color card that we use. I'm sorry if I'm going on too long, but whatever. If you wanna go, you could go to work or just stay home and play hooky with me all day. But here we have just tons. Look how nice they did. So Greg did an awesome job uh, organizing this and my dad. Um, just so you guys all know, I'm really more of the sales, marketing, social media, blogging, uh, customer, people, person sort of thing. Greg and dad do the behind the scenes stuff. Greg does the credit. Um, they do that harder stuff. I do the more fun stuff, but keeps me busy nonetheless. Um, but all in all, we work together really nicely. We complement each other very well. Hi, Scott. Good to see that Marilyn and Philip Jacobs are watching. Yeah, it is. Hi, Philip Jacobs. All right, what else? Allison Church, good morning. All right, so here we go, more empty racks. So now here's another rack of Henry Glass. Let's see what we got here. Um, so this is Nana May. Oh, this has been a really good line. This is like a 30s line, or it is a 30s line. Really fun in those old school colors. See. It's hard to see through the plastic, um, but all right, here we go. Yeah, exactly, Joanne Hubbard, I love what you just said. This is like work for all you guys, you're learning. Oh, here's my drink. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna give away a bolt of fabric to the person who gets the answer to this question. What is my favorite beverage? Be very specific. What do I not like in my iced tea? First one, wins a bolt of fabric. You can pick the company. I'm so glad to get my drink back. Let's see, who's gonna know? No fun color wrap. How many yards on those bolts? Most of the bolts are 12s and 15s. Iced tea, Amy Bauman. Scott at jabtex.com. I need more details. Iced tea, how do I like it? Sweet, unsweet. Lemon, no lemon. Unsweet tea, no lemon. Robin Price, winner, winner, chicken dinner. But uh, the other person who said it, iced tea first, I'll give you something too. So email me at scott at jafftex.com soon and you could tell me, or actually email me at scott at jafftex.com and tell me what company you want to bolt the fabric from. And if you could come up with a line, I will get it. Not raspberry iced tea, regular iced tea. So, uh, 
so this is it. Oh, there's one more room, and then we'll kind of wrap this up. So, on sweet, iced tea, no lemon. Dunkin' Donuts is the best. Totally love Dunkin' Donuts. Um, by the way, if there are Quilt Shops owners on this um, video right now, you should please sign up with Fab Shop for this So Days, So Revolution event. Um, I just got two sponsors. Everstone is gonna sponsor it, and so is Olfa. So excited to have such great partners. These people are awesome. Um, Becky, um, if you listen to the video again later, you'll hear my explanation of how we order. We take pre-orders, and then we, we use a ratio based on the sales. So if one SKU sold really well, we'll buy more of that, but it will be in proportion to what it sold. So it may be 10 to one or five to one or something like that. So then we get an idea based on how the line is gonna do. So this is another room that we're working on. They're, they're doing a lot of construction here. They're getting the docks ready so we could bring the trucks in and back them up. So here we go. Yes, Dunkin' Donuts is the best. Yes, so revolution. Is there, okay, answer that. Who was first? Cheryl E. Lefron. What do you mean, who was first? I'm not sure what that means. Big wave to the Carolinas, thank you. Here, wait, hang on one sec. I gotta put this water in my pocket. So, let's see. You guys are gonna like this. No, no, oh, I just pressed something and my phone went crazy. All right, there we go. Here, so let's see if this is more Henry Glass. Jan Shade Beach, Holiday Wishes. She's a great designer for Henry Glass. Let's see. I said iced tea first. Yes, I'll give you a bowl. I'll give you something first. I'll give you something too. Send me an email, Cheryl E. Lefon. Send me an email, scott at jafftex.com. I hope you're not like in France or something like that. Thank you for showing us this. You're welcome. We need slow, no, you didn't miss it, Marilyn. Um, the free spirit fabric is kind of traveling this way. It's not really that, you know, it's not really here yet. It's, it's got some ways to go. So this is not our fabric. This is some outdoor fabric. Let's see, Tropics, outdoor fabric, polyester. 1999 made in Malaysia. It looks like something that's gonna go to Joanne's. So this is it, people. I think that's all she wrote. Um, oh my God, if I work with all the fabric, I would never wanna go home. Yeah, I don't know. You get sick of it after a while. It's like overload. Um, thanks, Katie Kennedy. All right, any other questions? I could stand here for a couple minutes and delay doing my labor. Is this the, the funny thing about my labor outfit? Not only is this my labor outfit for doing hard labor, this was my labor outfit for when Lori got pregnant. It was my comfy pants. Check them out. They were all baggy. Nice. All right. So let's see. What else? So, uh, what else? Vanessa, good morning. So what else can I tell you? Anything. So this is the room. It's all going to be filled up. It's just gonna be a sea of fabric. So you can see how the rooms go. There's several different rooms. This one, so this is one, two. So we're in the first one is right here. See the orange, the second one, the third one. So this is four rooms all in a row. Have you eaten at the Waffle House? Yes, the Waffle House is nearby. Just send me a sewing machine and table in the corner. Just love it. Nah, missed the beginning due to looking after five week old crying baby. You can watch it again, don't worry. Hi, Philip. Good morning. Hi, Sylvia. Am I helping Greg? Yeah, I, I helped Greg a little bit in the beginning. I'm, you know, I'm exhausted. I got to blog and, and do social media. That's really way harder not. Um, I did help Greg, and I'm going to go back and help him again. When I'm done, I'm kind of stalling. I'm hoping some of my super fans come up with some more questions for me so that I can answer them. But I don't want to delay too much longer and make this too long. And, break all the rules of doing a good live Facebook, Facebook post. Here, they're moving the buggies. You can see how big this building is. So that was the first building. It's monster. Oh. And I noticed, so this is the second building where GNS is gonna be. I noticed that one of the awnings said Dunlop. I think this is where they made golf balls at one point and they made it in here. So here we go. So. Anyway, I think that's it. Um, if I think of something, maybe I'll come back later. How tall are your ceilings? Uh, they're taller than me. Let's say maybe uh, 
30 feet, I would have to guess. Maybe 30 feet. I'll bet you Greg will know. Greg, are you here? No, he's not here. What will happen to that building? I'm, I'm sure the people that, um, that own the, well, I think the previous owner of SNS owns that building. He'll probably sell it. Or maybe, you know, maybe the person who's the landlord for our building will buy it. Uh, going to make a sign for a building. Yes, I'm gonna have to talk to Greg about that. We need the GNS sign for sure. By the way, GNS, here's gonna be another quiz question later down the road. GNS stands for Greg and Scott Shipping. So that's what it's gonna be called as opposed to S and S. We definitely need a sign. Do you do any manufacturing in the US? We really do not. Almost all of our goods are made overseas. Um, it's just not economical. Korea and the other overseas countries are still advantageous for us. So, um, so here's here, this is kind of cool. So this is the back where they leave a lot of the trucks, the trailers, and the trucking companies will drop them off here and we'll fill them up. And then the trucking company will come back and they'll add the trailer onto the truck and they'll take it away. So they leave it here for a couple days and then we fill it up. Where will the new warehouse be? Right here, right here. Oh, see, there's that Dunlop sign. This is the other building. It's right next door. So we move from one building to the other. It's really a nightmare. It's, there's so much fabric. As Greg said, I never realized how much fabric we had until we started moving it. But big props to Greg uh, for busting his butt four days in a row. And I wish I could introduce you to Jimmy Fay. He's our lead guy here, but Jimmy is not feeling well today. And a bunch of the people got a bug, which is not good. And I hope I don't get a bug because Quilt Market is coming up soon and that would really suck. So here's the local area. We could talk and tan. We got skins, hot dogs, we got scrubs, we got, uh, this place is called Dogwood Plaza, Mexican restaurant, Los Amigos. All right, back into the building. All right, here, let's see, say hi. Hey, what's All up? Right, so we're back in here. All right, we're back in this building. See, this building is older and dirtier and bigger. And what happens is, because these, this building is close to the double enrolling machines. They get a lot of dust. You have to realize as the, as the fabric rolls through that machine, so much of the, the little threads pop up and you get so much dust from it. So it's really, uh, I'm sure it's not great for the breathing and whatnot. So let's see. Um, Naomi Campbell, you are very welcome. Catherine Kennedy, fresh start, exactly. Kathy, oh my God, so exciting. Where are you located? I am located in Seneca, South Carolina right now, but my offices are in Manhattan, New York. So let's see. Oh man, I'm like out of breath. It's so funny because I run every day, or not every day, a lot of days a week, four or five miles. Yet I'm walking back and forth talking to you and I'm like so out of breath. It's terrible. Oh man, it sucks getting old. Say good morning. Good morning. All right. All right. So we got more boxes. Here, look at these bags. These are some serious rolls. Look at how big these are. Let's see if I can tell what these are. Are these free spirit? These are, can't tell. Can't see, can't tell, let's see. No, this is for sportswear. This is something else, so don't know about that. G&S, I'm not sure. It's, yes, Greg and Scott. I'm not sure if it's distributing or not. 7,000 steps. Yeah, it could be 7,000 steps. I know my back is gonna hurt. So here's some A. Nathan flannel. We gotta give some love to A. Nathan. I showed you Henry Glass. I showed you Studio E. I showed you Blank. Uh, I showed you, what else did I show you? I showed you a little bit of Free Spirit, but you got a ton of Free Spirit yesterday. Here is, let's see what this is. This is not ours. Classic cottons. So we're not the only company in this facility right now but when we move to the other building, we will be the only one. So back to this guy using the machine. Remember that one that he melted the plastic on here? If they have another one right here, same thing. And the plastic, and then the guy puts them on the, the buggies, and then the buggies are moved to the rows, and all the fabric is put on the shelves. So a lot of moving. Oh, man. Oh, nice. A Nathan fan. Love it. So here we have other patterns that are waiting. Let's see what's this. So this is Too Cute to Spook by Blank. 
Really good Halloween line. Su super excited about this one. These are short bolts, so, oh, this is a good thing for you to know. So, a lot of times we end up with remnant pieces, six yards, four yards. A lot of these go to charities or uh, we, we sell them at a discounted price, but you know, the cutting is not perfect. So you don't get all full 15 yard pieces if you get to the end of the row. Oh, there's Greg. He's probably looking for me and can't believe I'm stalling for so long. Yeah, what the hell? <laughs> the truck's almost full, so we're almost ready. Okay, fine. So I'm gonna show you the truck and uh, they're loving this, which is great. So let's see, I'm gonna show you. Oh, let's see what's going on in here. Oh, here's, say good morning. Hey guys, you remember these guys from yesterday? Hello. Liz and Janice. What's going on? What do you think? Have you ever seen anything it. like this? I haven't been on the floor of a warehouse before. I've seen it in the aggregate from the door, but I've never actually gotten to walk the, okay. the hallways here. So you have, you, you're just getting warmed up if you're, yes. you've only made it this far. Yes. So there's a long way to go. Yes. There's not a ton of free spirit, unfortunately. Philip Jacobs says hi to Greg. Hey, Philip. He doesn't see you. He's on the other side. Philip, how are you? Mm -hmm. Nice to see you. Philip, do you, do you know, do you know Liz? Have you guys met? We have not met. All no. right. Hi, Philip Jacobs. Meet our new sales manager, extraordinaire. Love your fabric. And meet Janice Pope. Hi, Hi. Janice. All right. Oh, Jennifer Roycroft Jones. We were talking about you last night. Your ears must be ringing. She says, Hi, Janice. Hi. You and Greg look alike. Great brother traits. Oh. Yeah. The fortune off traits are strong and they run deep. All right. So let's go. I'm going to show you the truck and then I'm going to get out of here because I can't stall anymore. So here we have. Ooh, this is good. Stop for one sec, please. This is, so this is the Stoff Christmas line. It's called Magical Moments. This is a line that's really different and a lot of, a lot of shops love this. It's got metallic in it, but it's really sweet. Say good morning. Good morning. Smile. Oh, look at how cute she is. How cute is she? <laughs> She's such a sweetheart. Thank you guys. All right. You know, um, yes, Greg is my brother. Are you serious? Julie Woodward. You need to work on your super fan skills. More peppered cottons. Those are the shot cottons that Studio E has. And these are by Pepper Cory. They're very heavy and nice and thick and juicy and good to work with. Do we deal? Yes, we deal. We deal in, listen, we sell fabric. So we'll sell any fabric. Um, it's just a matter of if, you know, it's worth, it's worth uh, running. You know, if we can sell enough, it's worthwhile. All right, here, so I'll teach you guys something. So this, this right here, these are flat folds. So you may go to stores and see flat folds. Basically, it's like the leftover short pieces. They're bundled up together. And instead of being on boards, they're just put like this. So you get a nice variety. This is an A. Nathan flannel bundle. They usually come in 50 yard cases or 200 yard, um, 200 yard bundles. So that's something cool. Those are called flat folds. Oh, we were only saying good things about you, Jennifer Roycroft. Uh, Kim Santarelli, you love pepper cottons, awesome. So here's some more books, you know. I don't know if you guys know, Free Spirit doesn't do books. A lot of you are Free Spirit fans, but Studio E and Blank and Henry Glass, we do a lot of the fabric books that are so fun. We have the Sandra Mag Salmon books, which are really awesome. They have appendages, this is Tom. I'm gonna stay away from him, because he's got the thing that that uh, Jimmy's got a little stomach thing going on. We all love Philip Jacobs. Uh, let's see, who do you sell the flat folds to? Whoever wants to buy them. Quilt shops, stores that just wanna, it's, the problem is it's a little hard to price um, because you have to go and measure it, but the pieces will have the put up size. So anyway, so this is, these are the buggies that Greg and I were working on. And now these, we have to put them in here in the truck. And you can see it's all the way down. So the truck fits 20. We fill up the truck completely. We move it over to the other building and then unpack. It's, this is like torture. It's really like fabric torture chamber. Just up and down. I'm gonna be so sore tomorrow. Um, so, uh, Naomi Campbell, that's not something that everyone sells. Um, it's one of the things we sell for A. Nathan because we end up with a lot of short bolts of flannel. Um, but it's not a common thing. A lot of other companies do this. They use their short pieces and they make their own uh, flat fold bundles, but it's not a big item. I, I wouldn't be upset that you don't see it and it's not that important. So I just wanted to teach you. So here's a bunch of stuff getting ready to be recycled. Here's some old pallets and stuff. They try to use, reuse everything as much as possible. 
But this place has been around for a very long time. There's a Walmart right across the street over there. Um, I don't know, that's really it. That's all I got for you, I think. So I'm gonna take a seat here. And let's see. Oh God, that feels so good. So anyway, I'm here doing my thing, trying to include you. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. What else can I tell you? Um, I think that's it. Anyone have any questions? Where are pre-cuts made? So the pre-cuts, that's a good question. We make at Swatchcraft, typically. Sometimes we make them overseas, but Swatchcraft is related to the company that just bought Keepsake. I'm not sure if you heard. That's the Kimmelman family. They're in uh, High Point, North Carolina, and they bought Keepsake, if you haven't heard. Uh, they're also Pineapple Fabrics, so they have several companies, and they're also a fourth generation company like us. Uh, they're good friends of ours, and um, wish them luck on their new deal with Keepsake. That's very exciting uh, for all those Keepsake fans. But in any case, they make our uh, Swatchcraft makes our color cards, and they make all of our pre-cuts that we sell. So we take the fabric from here, we'll ship it to High Point, they'll make the pre-cuts, and then send it back. It's kind of tedious, but that's the best way we've done it. Um, so what else? Uh, Hi, Catherine. <laughs> Thanks for the tour. This was awesome. Thanks for taking the time. No problem. I love doing this for you guys. Um, just remember and buy our fabric. That's it. And I'll keep it coming. We'll get the deliveries better. Uh, you'll be excited to know Quilt Market's going to be awesome with the, the um, new Free Spirit lines. We're psyched about that. We're planning the July lines. Um, the Studio E and Blank reps currently have the, the May lines already, so they're out and about selling the new lines. You can see them up on our websites. They're all there. Uh, Henry Glass had their March release, and they will have a May release. Their lines are going out in the next week or so, or, or probably any day now. So um, that's it. I don't know what else to tell you. My hands are dirty. Yummy, yummy. But I'll tell you this. The Fortune Offs are not afraid to get down and dirty if we need to. You got to do what you got to do sometimes, and uh, can't just sit back and watch everyone else busting their butts. You got to be involved. So... Once again, big props to my brother. As someone said yesterday, I'm, uh, he's the grunt and I'm something else, but he's working hard. We appreciate it. Great to be in a family business and I'm gonna stop blabbing. So um, love you guys. Have a great day. I am gonna be in the Carolinas until tomorrow afternoon. Gonna hang out with a social media person, Vanessa. I'm gonna hang out with Liz and Janice. Gotta talk to my people. We gotta come up with ideas, figure it all out, keep getting all the kinks out and, and anticipate any problems. Uh, yes, Quilt Market is just for shop owners. Um, Ruthie May, you're very welcome. Buy from Poland. Poland, awesome. Becky Tillman Peterson, love that you're from Poland. Heading out this I'm afternoon to the, uh, yeah, I'm, com I'm comfortable here. See, Greg said, I hope you're comfortable as I stall away blabbing on and on and on and on. I will, one final word is that I will, I'm hoping to give away six more sewing machines this weekend and put an order for another 50 machines to give away to people suffering in their lives that need a sewing machine as a pickup. And they will also get the Fiskars, um, stuff from Fiskars, the um, scissor and the thread. Oh man, I forget that name of that thing anyway, um, every time. Yes, Jennifer Roycroft, you could come down here with Janice sometime and check it out. And then we have um, Ulfa. They have the rotary cutter and the cutting board and the ruler that all the winners get. And then now we have Mettler. They have a uh, different thread and, and a color chart and all this different stuff. But this is all I have to say. Adios. Don't touch my face with these dirty hands. And um, be still my heart, too. Love you guys. Have an awesome day. Thanks for hanging out with me. Thanks for taking the day off from work. Um, next time we'll make this a little, like, a little Scott ho Facebook Live holiday. That would be awesome. Have a great day. Bye, 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 bye.